everybody and welcome back to another vlog on the channel for today's video i'm gonna be unboxing my brand new vlog camera i am super super excited for this this was like a much needed upgrade i actually vlogged when i got this camera that you're on right now my g7x and it's just so crazy because that was like five years ago and the excitement i had unboxing the camera is literally the same feeling i'm having with this camera i present to you guys the Canon M50. I was really hesitant on upgrading to this camera or to the G7X Mark III, which is now out. So I have done a lot of research. I was just like really worried that this camera would be a lot bigger because I do have the Canon T5i. That is just a bulky DSLR camera and I didn't want that feel because I have vlogged with that before and it just, I wasn't a big fan of it at all. I also got a new tripod which is on this camera right now so I'll show you guys that um, once I get everything assembled, but for right now, let's go ahead and unbox this camera. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to unbox it. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera over and let's just unbox it together. So the first thing I see is a camera strap. This is so cute compared to my DSLR one. It's like much thicker and bigger. This one's so cute and tiny. And here is the camera. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So first impressions, it feels so soft and so smooth. It actually feels really durable. Like I feel comfortable just carrying it around um, and walking around with just this in my hand. Feels really nice. Here's the controls. They're basically the same as the G7X. You have all your different modes right here. I don't know what button this is to be honest. I'm not like super, super techy on like certain apertures and stuff where you record on and off. That's new. Typically I just press a button. And then you got all these little controls right here. The G7X obviously has a flip up camera. This is a flip out. So this is definitely gonna be something I'll have to get used to. I'm gonna have to do my best to look straight at the lens and not at myself the entire time. And then also in the box, we have a little battery. I'm gonna go on Amazon and buy um, more batteries because one is just not enough for me. Um, and also I don't know how long this camera battery is gonna last. I'm gonna actually go ahead and put this in the charger. Ooh, I like this. It's like black on black, which is super, super sleek. Even the battery is like super sleek and black on black as well. That looks so cute. And then last but not least, we have the lens. Oh my gosh, it's like a little baby lens. It's so cute. This is so adorable. I cannot wait to play around with this, honestly. And just for reference of size, this is my T5i camera. And this is the new m50 so obviously it's like a little baby next to the t5 i all right you guys so i am officially on the new camera i haven't taken off the lens cap yet so this is gonna be my first impressions ready and oh my gosh the quality and then here is what the rig looks like right now so i have a external microphone oh my gosh i can zoom in like that that's so cool so I have an external microphone right here. It's from Rode. I'll link it down below. I've had it for quite a while. So it has that. And then it comes with a windsock. Did that make any difference? Or... Okay, that's kind of cool. I definitely have to like figure out like the audio and stuff. Like if the windsock sounds good. It's kind of like bouncing as I'm moving my hand. Which I don't know if the audio is picking up. So I'm going to definitely look through the footage and listen to it and see like what I need to improve on. And then I have this tripod, but as of right now, I'm like, I'm loving this new setup. So fun fact, my previous video, which is my hair care routine, if you're subscribed, you would know. If you're not, you definitely should subscribe. I actually filmed that hair care routine video 
all on this camera, 100% of it on the camera. So uh, you can look at that video and kind of see how the quality was like. It was in different lightings. I was sitting in this setting kind of where the sun was going down. I filmed in the bathroom when I was washing my hair um, and it was a little bit of a darker setting in the bathroom. So definitely lighting in there was more difficult and I didn't play around with the settings for that video too much. Now this is more customizable. Obviously I haven't edited this video yet so I don't know if the quality is different on this video than it was at the very beginning or even in the previous video. But one thing I really like about the camera is that as I'm moving my face, sometimes when I'm starting to record and I'm trying to set up the camera right and get it focused and all of that, the camera kind of moves how my face is. Oh wow. When I was moving my head, it was moving the framing as I was going on with my head. I don't know if you guys saw that. Wow, that's so weird. So I don't know if it's like a newer feature or whatever. It's not doing it right now, but it was doing it before. And I thought that was really cool that like the lens was just following me. It's called Aperture Priority AE. And this kind of is similar to my G7X because the background is always a little blurry than my face um, when I vlog on that camera so I might be using this mode or like the auto movie exposure mo 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 mode but this obviously I don't have a microphone on it so this is the built-in microphone and then we flip it to over here and we see that the background is a little more blurry. Any difference? Is there any difference? But overall, I'm really, really liking it. The one thing I'm not a big fan of is there's a sensor on the back of the camera. And if I put my hand over it, it will trigger the sensor back there. And my viewfinder won't um, show any picture or video. Um, so I have to stay clear of like what's behind the camera. So it's going to be kind of hard to prop things up. I think I can change it in the settings. I just don't know how. So hopefully the audio sounds really good. I'm thinking it is because I literally don't have an external microphone. So if it sounds just as good without a microphone, I might not even like carry one around. Maybe when I'm like outside or something, I'll bring one. Okay, this is the first time I'm taking my camera outside the house. It fits in my little purse perfectly. I'm so happy about that. I'm not gonna do too much vlogging in this uh, video just because it is a camera unboxing, but I do wanna show you guys what the camera is like out and about. And um, so far the lighting and like the quality looks so good. It's getting like brighter and darker as we're passing trees and the camera's adjusting to that really well. We're gonna be running some errands and stuff. So pretty chill time. I'm gonna take you guys along. The first part is apartment of licensing. We need to get car tabs for the car. Probably not gonna vlog in there. Can you an extra cheese today? Well, it looked like they had a lot of new people. Oh, that, yeah, typically that Starbucks location yeah. doesn't do the best with foam, but this is really good. It's thick today, Alex. too. We're going to go to the grocery store, and we're going to run some errands, and we got the car tabs, by the way. That yeah. was successful. I have been obsessed with these lately. If you follow me on Instagram, then you would know. I really like them, but we got the Breeze Berry and the Cosmic Stardust, because that's one of mom's favorites. They only had these two flavors. This pimple on my face, I am so annoyed with. If it wasn't there, I would feel a lot more confident. Okay, overall, with using this camera on my hair care video, and then a little bit of vlogging in this video, I really enjoyed using this camera straight up. I was just worried that it was gonna be a burden to just lug around if I wanted to vlog a day in my life. I thought it would, might be too big, but it actually fit in my everyday purse really fine. Granted, I didn't have an external microphone on there, but just the camera on its own, carrying it around, going to the grocery store, and doing all the things that I was doing, it felt great for me. Another pro that I thought was really good to share is I actually bought like third-party batteries. Now, I know there's a whole discussion about buying third-party batteries and buying new batteries that from the Canon brand. But I recently ordered these batteries from Power Extra. I did some research on YouTube and these were like the best like third party batteries to be using for the Canon M50. I'm currently using one of the batteries right now. But basically I got two batteries. So this is what 
it looks like. I will link these down below because I got them from Amazon. So it came with two batteries and then a charger. Now the cool thing about this charger is that you literally just plug it in like this and then it comes with a USB port. I plugged it in and I plugged it in my wall. And the cool thing about it is when you plug it in, um, it will show on these channels the batteries that are plugged in and it will tell you the status of it. And I thought that was so useful to have. So I definitely recommend getting extra batteries and I will also link down in the description below the memory cards I use. I think they're from like SanDisk. I think one of them is off brand, but I typically go with SanDisk. Um, I have two 128 gigabytes. You obviously don't need that much storage, but I'm constantly switching memory cards, filming multiple videos at a time. So I thought having multiple memory cards would be very useful for me. And I will link my external microphone and my tripod down in the description below. But I think that pretty much wraps up my review. I hope you guys enjoyed this camera review. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I upload every Friday at noon Pacific. So I will see you guys next week. And if you want to see more of my life on a day-to-day -day basis, go ahead and follow my Instagram. All of my social medias will be linked in the description below. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next vlog next week. Bye.